Hi guys, welcome to the No Sweat Workout. I'm Amanda from Fitness and Breakfast, working with Suffolk Sport here in their offices. Um, so today we're going to do a light exercise, all based around your chair and your desk. So no sweat, no change of clothes needed, just slight toning exercises for your legs and upper body. So let's get started. We're literally just gonna make sure that we're nice and warm. So just roll around on your chair, raising your feet slightly off the ground. So just getting that blood flowing around your body. So I'm on one of these chairs. However, if you're on a wheelie chair, just adjust it and make sure you get that 90 degree angle with your hips and knees and lock the wheels. Sitting nice and upright and engaging those stomach muscles. Okay, just gonna raise our arms up, stretch out, down. Okay, feet planted hip width distance apart. We're gonna raise up on our toes and down onto our heels. Up onto our toes, down onto our heels. Up, down. Keep breathing throughout this exercise. Just gonna make sure our body's nice and warm. I'm ready to do some exercise. Okay, so now we're just gonna lift our knees up slightly, one after the other. Just use your hands, just wake up those hips and those legs. Nice and gently, placing the feet onto the floor. Okay. Now we're just gonna fold from our hips, so widen the stance and fold down. Relax that neck, breathe in and fold up. One more time, breathe in, exhale, down from the hips, relax that neck, roll it back up. Okay, open up the shoulders, chest out, we're just gonna roll the shoulders. Other direction, bring those shoulders right up to your ears, Nice and tall. Great. Flick out your arms. Wake them up. And then we'll start with some leg extensions. So we're just literally extending the knee. If you like to make it a little bit harder, just raise your leg slightly. But we're just gonna raise the leg. So starting from now, we're gonna do 20 repetitions. So one. Remember to breathe. So just kicking out, that's 10, 11. Just use the back of the chair for support if you need, keeping that back nice and upright, that spine elongated. Brilliant, take a big deep breath. Relax it back into the chair. Get comfortable again. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second exercise, which is the leg lift. So we're no longer kicking, we're just raising our leg out straight and up, back down again. Straight, up, back down again. So this is gonna, it's a little bit more pressure onto the upper part of our, our um, thighs. So okay, 20 reps from here, leg out straight and up. And up. Straight and up. Keep breathing. Those stomach muscles will start to feel a little bit more engaged. Keeping that spine lengthened. Straighten that leg, lift it up. Using the support of the chair, Keep those legs nice and straight. Okay, one more. Brilliant, and relax into the chair. Take a big deep breath. And again, working the legs. We're gonna take our legs out straight in front of us and we're just gonna do nice circles. To make the exercise harder, you can move front of the chair 
and make bigger circles. Okay, same on the other leg. Leg straight out and draw a circle with the point of your shoe, pointing your toes forward. Brilliant, keeping that spine nice and elongated, shoulders back and down. Okay, 20 reps, let's go. So 10 on each leg. Nice circle together. Straight, good. Your legs might start to feel a little bit tired. Feel that burn. Okay. If you get too tired, you can bring that leg out a little bit lower. Just take those circles a little bit lower. And relax again sit back into the chair <sighs> take a big deep breath okay so now we're going to work on our knees we're going to bring our knees up and then down so again come to the front of the chair for a little bit more harder exercise we're going to bring your arm, knees up and then down okay up and then down so as you lean back the stomach muscles will be engaged so we want to lean back and then down back and then down. So you're slightly rocking onto the back of the chair and placing your legs back onto the floor. Lifting those knees up as far as you can. That's it, keep going. Keep breathing. So, okay, so we're gonna do five more of these. rocking backwards and forwards and relax. Okay, so we're gonna do tricep dips now. So I'm using a desk. What I want you to do is stand about two or three feet away from the desk, place your hands down and just lower yourself into the movement. So your knees are about 90 degree angle and then extend your arms, lift those hips and go back into the same position, almost like a seated position, use those hips and those stomach muscles to draw you back up. Sit nice and controlled. Engaging those bum muscles as well as you come up. Keep breathing. Okay, so we're going to do 20 seconds of this. If you feel like you need to bow out, that's fine. Just do 10. Keep breathing. Okay, great. So your legs should feel a little bit sore and your arms should feel the burn slightly. So we're now going to do calf raises. So again, make sure you're in a nice comfortable position on the chair, not too far forward. And we're just going to do like we did at the warm up. We're just going to lift our toes and heels up and then back down again. Up. So you possibly could turn them the other way. So you can point them outwards. I'm just going to do this for 15 reps. So starting from now, one, I'm going to keep breathing. Okay, great. When you've when you've done your 20 reps, just relax. Sit into the chair, keep breathing. And we're now going to do a wall press up. So we're going to stand 3 to 2 feet away from the wall, 
hands and feet hip width distance apart and we're just going to release our elbows into the wall, chest into the wall and extend and come back up nice and straight. Your arms should be at chest level. To make it a little bit harder, stand further away. You really feel that your abdominal muscles are engaging. So we're going to do 10 reps here. To make the exercise a little harder, just take your palms into a triangle shape and lower yourself to the wall. You'll find that your stomach muscles are slightly more engaged. Remember to breathe through the exercise. Make sure that tailbone's tucked in. And remember to breathe. Brilliant, once you've completed those 10 reps, we'll now go into exercises that you can do standing using the chair. So this focuses on your lower body, your bum muscles and your back. So first exercise, again, feet hip width distance apart and we're gonna slightly bend in the knees, always keep them really subtle. And we're just gonna take the leg out and extend back. So here you'll feel that contraction with your bum muscles and your leg. So we're going out and then back in. Try and keep that hip nice and flat and level, not wonky or up to one side. So we're going out. Just so you feel that contraction and then back in. Okay, standing nice and tall, we're gonna do this for 15 to 20 reps, whichever you find easier. Remember, this is a no sweat workout. Okay, so that's our glutes exercise done. And we're now gonna work on the inside and outside of our thighs. So again, holding the chair, we're just gonna raise that leg up and out. The other leg up and out. So you can see from the side, raising it up, up. Turn around to the other direction. Not bringing that leg too high, nice and controlled hips, nice and parallel. Again, don't forget to breathe, keep those legs nice and subtle. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 on one leg and 10 on the other. So starting with our right leg first, stand up nice and tall. Good, you'll find that you're also contracting your stomach muscles here. Brilliant. Okay, so we're now going to turn around and go on the other side using the chair to support you. Great. Okay, so that's the end of the no sweat workout. Don't forget to log your activity points by going to the Workplace Challenge website or the app.